Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to the Budget Stacker. I'm back. I have not ordered any of this beautiful silver or gold precious metals for four long months, and it's been a little tough on me. I've been trying to save up a little fiat um, uh, cash uh, savings after a period of spending a lot on the house, and um, yeah, and the prices uh, for silver just uh, were just outrageous. I was, I was planning, of course, of transitioning back into a regular buying pattern. Um, maybe not as much as I had been purchasing before, but just regular, you know, increments um, to dollar cost average in. And I decided to go for an order with bullion.com, um, a dealer I've never used before. I saw Louis Silver actually um, had um, got one of these uh, orders. Everything went fine for him. Uh, so I thought I would, uh, you know, just take a risk with somebody I've never worked with before and see how it goes. So maybe you're thinking of the same thing. You've kind of checked out some of the prices. So it's always nice to have another dealer. I don't know if they're affiliated with other ones and uh, just another site out there. But... Um, I'm going to check out this uh, order, first one from bullion.com. If you're interested, stay tuned because here we go. Alrighty then, let's uh, get into it. Um, this is the box from bullion.com. Again, the first time I've ever ordered uh, from them. Um, kind of a different style. Looks like they had a flap that went over here and kind of glued here. So uh, a little different than other boxes I've got. As I do, this is a, it, it's a heavier item, but I can feel it moving around inside. So hopefully it's got a lot of protection doesn't appear to I mean, it's only going to take up like this much space so we'll see what we got inside so let me open this up the rest of the way it just started it just a little bit oh okay so that comes up from the top oh okay. hmm. all right well they uh they put some a padded envelope inside that appears to be glued to the other side. Um, all right, uh, okay, let's see the other side. Oh, okay, all right, well, what I thought was okay, so yeah, looks like I'm having to really butcher this. They did glue this. Um, thing inside it looks like so it's apparently moving around on the inside of this okay this is the item as you can see I got a tube of something um, okay it looks like it probably was fairly secure it's all in this bubble wrap Let's uh, free it from its bubble wrap bondage here. All right, get out of there. Okay. All right. Okay, we do have some paper here. All right, let's just get that out of there. All right, we got our come and receipt. Wow, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. And this is what we bought. A nice, beautiful roll of United States Mint Silver Eagles. So, okay, well, um, yeah, it looks really nice. It's got a little cellophane over this side. Of course, this is the uh, mint seal. Very cool. Um, these obviously come in tubes of 20. So that's what I did order. The price was just, 
I mean, I was probably planning on re-entering <laughs> my purchasing again, again, after four long months of not purchasing any precious metals. Um, I finally did um, decide I would break that trend and I would purchase again. Let me take this off. Okay, well, it looks like as I take that cellophane off, it's going to possibly mess with the... I mean, I'm, I'm going to cut this anyway, but, yeah. But, you know, you kind of like to preserve that as much as possible. It's only bullion. Um, some people would never unseal this, but, again, this is the first time I've ever dealt with these people, so I want to make sure I really got what I paid for. Okay, well... That's not going to work too well. I'll just have to mess with that a little bit. Oh, oh. Ah, okay, well. Okay, well, good intention to put that uh, on there, but ended up messing that up a little bit. All right, well, it's looking good. Um, let me get in here and see if I got what I actually paid for. Uh, I'm going to get some gloves, so I'll be right back. Okay, all gloved up. Um, these are brilliant uncirculated. Uh, I think it's um, 2023 Silver Eagles. So I think the, the latest one, 2024s, um, have a little bit different seal. I am breaking the seal, but again, like I said, you know, I need to know that uh, the first time I ordered with uh, this company that I've got the real deal here. Uh, and uh, like I said, Louis Silver, he's the one who, um, he, he did his um, order and uh, mentioned it and kind of showed what he got and everything looked good. He was happy with it uh, for the most part. Um, I'm just trying to be careful here, especially with gloves on. All right. <laughs> okay, I know a lot of you hate the eagle, but I kind of like that eagle on the... On the type twos but oh yeah okay it comes with of course as you'd expect normally when you're buying a tube a nice um healthy um, um tube to come with your order be careful there. they're all brilliant uncirculated so it's always a great thing when you get a nice tube with it as well all right Okay, well, as expected, these are beautiful 2023, brilliant and circulated. Um, I have to do a little ping test later on. Uh, but yeah, these look really nice, as expected. Hmm, that one's kind of got a little aurora around it. <laughs> That's probably from the mint, though. Doesn't it seem like a little kind of pattern there but yeah these are what I'd expect oh do we have the security measure let's see where's the security measure oh okay now I feel secure they're missing read <laughs> okay I think it's supposed to be there well because I should look yeah this one also has like I don't know if you can see that on camera it seems like it's got like a little aurora effect there kind of like um you know a circular pattern. Is that smudge? Okay, there. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, the very controversial eagle side, which I kind of like, but others don't. Yeah, it looks like they all have this kind of, um, and again, I don't know if you can see that on camera a little bit, I think. It's kind of a little circular pattern there. Could have been something going on with that particular die. Um, these do appear to be authentic. Again, the Aurora pattern there to the side on all of them. So it's all the same batch. So if there's some issue with the die at the time, it's going to reproduce that. But in good shape otherwise. See a little something underneath there. Just like a little divot. I think those are more issues with the mint. 
I mean, I do, I am happy they're putting out more. Yeah, so you see the same exact thing there, right underneath um, her flowing garment on her right arm. And again, the same kind of pattern there. It's again, likely more from the mint than anything else. Some imperfection in the dye. Uh, but these are bullion coins. But um, yeah, I would say, I mean, I got these in a, the price is just so good. It drew me back in. I, you know, I knew it was going to get back in to making regular purchases again. But this was $26.72, um, which is the best deal I found out there. Now, you were buying a whole tube, which um, after not having spent anything was... Um, you know, a little more than I initially had thought I wanted to spend. I was looking at also at uh, Canadian Maples, another site had a great deal, but uh, I didn't know how long these prices would last on the American Se Silver Eagles. Um, so I just had to pick these up. And at $26.72, um, that was the point that just drew me in. <laughs> I had to get it. And uh, since that price was on bullion.com, yeah, I ordered a, a tube of theirs. Um, now, I did check a few other things out um, after I placed this order uh, for other things that they had. And they do seem to be a volume dealer. So uh, I was looking at some quarter ounce um, gold coins. Um, they were, you know, decent price. But you had to buy four at a time. So pretty much an ounce. So if I was going to do that, I'd probably just get an ounce. <laughs> I looked at a few other items, and they, they also had uh, minimums on them for those particular items. Like you got to buy a tube or um, you know, a certain amount. Um, so I think that's kind of how they keep their prices low. Something to you know kind of be wary of when you go check out their site. Uh, but if you're looking to buy a tube of something, uh, particularly like silver, um, at this particular time, uh, they were great deals. So what I'm finding as I've um, you know purchased from a lot of um, uh, online bullion dealers is you're going to have some that will have their heyday so far as prices, and then they kind of fade off a little bit. Um, I used to find some great deals on SD Bullion. I still find some good sales deals there, but not as great uh, as uh, times in the past. Um, you know, I, I, and I noticed that different dealers, um, they'll have their period where they're really hot. Um, Bullion exchanges was, you know, they're, they're still pretty good, but they had um, a great period, um, but still getting, uh, still gonna get some stuff from them because they are doing really, really good. Oh, this is funny. This one doesn't have that little dot there that imperfection and just a slight amount. Maybe something got in the die when it was stamping and these ones didn't have it. They still have that Aurora effect, but interesting little oddities from the mint here. But that's what I'm finding. Uh, and I've still been, I've been torturing myself the last four months by checking out all these uh, different um, uh, deals. I've been seeing the price of silver was just really good. Uh, go up a little bit, but then it would come back down. Um, and uh, gold um, has had its uh, moments as well during these last four months. Um, uh, there were some periods where it was really hard not to, to get anything even of gold at the higher amounts. But yeah, this one still has the Aurora here, but not that little thing there. So I guess it is something that happened with the dye during this process. During my role... <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm very happy to finally have some new silver again. Uh, a little bigger purchase than I wanted my initial amount to go back into the precious metals, but i um, happy I did. I think um, I'm pretty happy with um, getting this. Um, I, ordered it, um, I ordered it on February 10th, and I got it on February 23rd. I did do... Um, ACH check, so that had to clear, but it's pretty good, pretty good uh, delivery time. Um, one thing I didn't like about bullion.com is uh, they told me when it was shipped, but there's no tracking number, so 
that makes you know i always like to get the tracking number so i can kind of see where it's at i you know sign up for those text notifications so when it's in my mailbox i know and i go grab it right away so um, that's one thing i would suggest to them if if they could put the tracking number I mean, this was sent um via via us uh, mail but um <clears throat> nice cool tube course coming with these and I'd say my experience has been pretty good so far with them. The only thing, again, I would mention is they do tend to have some volume pricing limitations. So uh, it has it pretty prominently when you're looking at it that, you know, minimum of four, um, you know, on, on certain items like those uh, quarter ounce gold coins I was looking at. Uh, so just pay attention to that. So if you've got a bigger order you want to do, maybe they'll have some smaller amounts in the future. So I'd still keep checking them out. Um, but on this one, um, it was either between the Canadian Maple or the American Silver Eagle. Um, of course, I live in America, so I thought maybe the, this would be best. And I'm not sure how long these prices will be down. I'm glad that the U.S. Mint is putting out more bullion, making those uh, premiums a lot less. Um, but overall, you know, I, I wanted to get one of, to get a, a batch of these. I need another tube i thought and this will do it so i've got my fix i feel a lot better i'm starting to you know slowly get back into uh stacking um always had that stacking mindset but just took a little holiday so glad to be back after a far long month it was excruciating anyway hope you're having a great day evening Des. hope you're enjoying uh my um kind of uh, rambling about my first order at bullying.com. I always thank you for watching. Appreciate any thumbs up because it really does uh, encourage us YouTubers. And, uh, and you know, you can share my happiness of being able to get back into stacking silver and gold. Anyway, hope you're having a great evening day. Des, God bless and take care.